Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is an energy of someone who is excited about you, and they could be initiating contact with you. Um, this can be someone who has something that they want to reveal to you, and they do want more with you. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Six of Swords, Air Energy. The Knight of Swords, Air Energy, and the Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So it does look like someone could be chasing after you or, you know, really having a lot they need to reveal to you. They have a lot they want to get off their chest. Um, this could be someone who, at some point when you dealt with them, they may have held back a lot. And now they feel almost like you're getting away from them because the Six of Swords, it looks like this is someone you, you, you could be determined to leave behind or you could be trying to move on from. Um, and they don't want you to do that. Like this is someone who's not going to make it easy for you to move on from them. Um, they do want to give you something. They may feel like they owe you something. This could be an apology, an explanation, but there's someone here who's trying to avoid or prevent you from leaving them behind. Let's clarify these cards, Gemini. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Okay, so this could be someone who wants to keep you stuck. They want you to be stuck on them. They don't want you to move on. They don't want you to see that as like an option. Um, you could have felt trapped in the connection. You know, this could be a situation where you felt very like anxious, almost like the connection wasn't very good for your mental health. And so with the Six of Swords, it's like you are making an, a conscious decision to prioritize your peace and your well-being. So you, you're leaving this behind. Let's see. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, the Wheel of Fortune, Fixed Sign Energy, and the Judgment Card, Scorpio Energy. So there is again another energy showing up as them chasing after you. It does look like you've got reasons to want to get away from this situation. Like this person could have been a player. They could have been non-committal, you know, and it's like they're only now wanting to make it seem like they're ready to commit because they don't want you to get away from them. Um, this could be a fated connection. It could have been karmic as well. And the judgment card being here is, again, an energy of someone who wants a second chance. You know, they really... They want to get the opportunity to say everything that they didn't get to say. It's almost like this person may have even downplayed their feelings for you when they were with you. They could have not claimed you or not committed to you. And now they suddenly want to. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Gemini. Okay, so we have you are good enough full moon in virgo okay so there's a message here of needing to know your worth seeing that you are valuable you're good enough and you bring a lot to the table and you don't have to settle um for less than what you deserve okay so i'm gonna plot another card for you
Okay, we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So it looks like a past person who wants a second chance with you. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have sweet pea, blissful pleasure. Follow your bliss and the universe will open doors where there were only walls. Okay, so there is an energy here of you being advised to do what's best for you. It does look like someone may try to persuade you to come back to them or to give them another chance. Um, but, you know, you are, again, you do what's best for you. Follow your bliss, prioritize your peace and well-being. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to pull out a card for your advice. Okay, so we have surrender, low self-esteem. You deserve success love and abundance set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem okay so that's what i'm seeing for you gemini i hope you have a really really good day gemini bye gemini